The Yakut Revolt, also known as the Yakut Expedition, was the last incident, and final set of military engagements of the Russian Civil War. The hostilities took place between September 1921 and June 1923, and mainly took place in the Aiyanomaisky district of the Russian Far East. An uprising flared up in Yakutia in September 1921. Around 200 white Russians were led by Mikhail Korobinikov. In March 1922, they established the Provisional Yukut Regional People's Government, in Cherupka, in the Saka Republic. On March 23, 1922, Korobinikov's Yukut People's Army, armed with six machine guns, captured the town of Yakutsk, decimating the Red Army garrison. In April, the White Army contacted the Provisional Priamurai government in Vladivostok, asking for help. On April 27, the Russian Bolshevik government declared the establishment of the Yakut Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic, and sent an expedition to put down the uprising. During the summer of 1922, the Whites were pushed out of Yakutsk and withdrew to the Pacific coast, they then occupied the port towns of Akutsk and Aiyan. On August 30, the Pacific Ocean Fleet, crewed by around 750 volunteers under Lieutenant General Anatoly Pepelyev, sailed from Vladivostok to assist the White Russian forces. Three days later, the force disembarked in Aiyan and moved on to Yakutsk. By the end of October, when Pepelyev captured the area of Nelkin, he learned that the Bolsheviks had taken Vladivostok from the White Army and the Civil War had effectively ended. When the Soviet Union was officially formed on December 30, 1922, the only Russian territory still held by the White Army was the region known as Pepelyevshina, which consisted of the towns of Aiyan, Akutsk and Nelkin. A unit of Bolshevik forces under the command of a Red Army officer named Ivan Strod was sent to fight Pepelyev in February 1923. On February 12 that year, they defeated Pepelyev's forces near a place called Sasil Sasig, and in March, the White Army retreated from Amga. On April 24, 1923, the ships Stavropol and Indigurka sailed from Vladivostok to Aiyan, they carried a contingent of the Red Army under Commander Stepan Vostretsov. Upon his arrival in Aiyan on April 6, he learned that Pepelyev had evacuated to Nelkar. The last of the white forces were defeated near Akutsk on June 6, and near Aiyan on June 16, 1923. 103 white officers and 230 soldiers were taken prisoner and transported to Vladivostok. Pepelyev himself was captured after the Battle of Aiyan, and would spend 13 years in prison, being released in 1936. He was later executed in Stalin's Great Purge on January 14, 1938.